What's the creepiest thing you've ever seen? I was in bed at night woken up by the sound of steps on my roof tiling. I think I was about 13 at the time. I see a shadow walk past my skylight unsure of what it was. I look outside my side window and see a man dressed in all black looking out from the construction scaffolding. After a while he looks into my window and I try to hide. My brother also saw him. We never found out what happened to him but the police were informed. I was 10 years slash o riding my bicycle at dusk along the road I lived on which was parallel to a set of railroad tracks. I moved off the road as a car sped by and a beer bottle came sailing at me from the front passenger seat. I could see two young women turned around laughing at me through the back window. I flipped them off, and kept riding. About 30 seconds later, I heard the train slam into them. When my daughter was very young, three to four, we were on a family vacation in a state park lodge. Our room had exposed wood ceiling beams to match the decor, important later. It was supposed to be nap time for my daughter but she was quietly playing by herself and just chatting away and the wife and I were reading on the other bed. Out of the blue my daughter turns to me and asks for a piece of rope. I asked why she needed the rope and she nonchalantly replies it is for my friend, the purple girl on the ceiling. My wife asks what friend? And my daughter responds I've been talking with the little purple girl hanging from that wood up there, points to the ceiling beam. She asked me for another piece of rope. Needless to say that nap time was over and we quickly exited the room. When I was a kid I was playing in our kitchen when I saw a huge dark figure walk past the kitchen and down the hallway leading to the bedrooms. I walked to our back patio and saw the rest of my family watching TV. The patio is on the opposite side of the house from the hallway. I walked to the hallway and started looking for who it could have been but never found anyone. Still have no idea who or what it could have been but it's always creeped me out thinking about it. I got recalled into work and was driving at about 3 a.m., I was in a very rural area in western Washington. As I come around a curve I see a woman in a nightgown on the side of the road looking up at a steep embankment. Just standing there staring away from the road. There are no homes nearby, not for miles. I call 911 and pull over about a minute up the road not knowing what to think. Deputy showed up couldn't locate anyone and was as dumbfounded as I was. My dorm hall had some weird shit happen, but one of the weirdest was that I went to the bathroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. The sink was right next to the entrance and as I washed my face, I saw and heard the door open and noticed a figure move to the end of the stalls. I figured a girl had just come in to use the bathroom. I dry off my face and begin brushing my teeth but realized I didn't hear anyone else. I checked each stall and no one was in there. I quickly grabbed my stuff and noped out. I laid down to sleep one night. It always took me forever to fall asleep, as I'd have to breathe deeply for an hour to relax enough to drop off. A few minutes after I got into bed, the door to my room flew open with a bang. I heard something quite large and noisy stomp around the open area of my room, even felt a breeze that ruffled my hair, and then my door slammed shut and all was quiet. I was paralyzed with fear for a long time. Never got up to investigate due to sheer terror. No one else was home. I've had three miscarriages. I knew I was going to miscarry before it happened. Each time I saw my baby as a young kid waving at me like a goodbye. My third I lost in the bathroom the next day. With my daughter I knew it would be okay because I had no dream of her saying goodbye like my previous babies. When I was about 16 my friend stayed the night at my house. At the time I was really into the paranormal and had just learned about EVP, electronic voice phenomenon. That night we had watched Mothman prophecies before going to sleep. I remember it was storming outside and there was thunder and lighting, important later. Before going to sleep I had set up a microphone on my PC to record sounds because my house had some weird things happen in the past and watching that movie pumped me TF up to get an EVP that night. I start the recording and test the mic, I could see spikes on the track when we talked and I specifically remember seeing a huge spike when some thunder rattled the house. The next morning I stopped the recording and noticed that there was only 4 hours of audio but we'd been asleep for nearly 8 hours. I started listening to the audio and it seemed normal at first. I could hear the conversation we had right after starting the recording but no longer saw the big spike from the thunder which I initially dismissed. Upon further inspection I see a spike on the track about 2 hours in which would have been around 3 am, I moved to that section of the track and hit play. In the recording I could hear what was obviously my cell phone ringing but only partial sections of the ringtone. 
It rang like this three or four times and then I clearly hear an unfamiliar voice say hello? In a hushed tone. I immediately grabbed my phone and checked the recent calls and the last call I received was earlier the previous day when my friend called asking to hang out. No incoming or outgoing since. My brain exploded. I immediately called my friend's phone to see if his ringtone was the same. It wasn't. He woke up looking confused about getting a call from across the room and when I explained what I found and played the audio. He was clearly a bit shaken and shied away from any paranormal conversations I tried to initiate from then on. A decade ago a girlfriend, let's call her M, moved in with me but she gave me a warning, there's a man that follows me, he's not evil or anything like that, but he doesn't like men. That should have been the time I noped the duck out of my own home but I was in love and just accepted her wild statement. Fast forward a few months later, home alone, M just left for work and I'm showering. I hear the bathroom door open and hit the dresser behind it, I look to my right and see a shadow through the curtain, I jokingly say out loud oh, you're back for some bonus shower time? As I open the curtain, nobody is there, still home alone. A few days later I come home from work and hang my keys on the hook like I always do and walk away. An hour goes by when I notice my keys, rocking back and forth and back and forth on the hook. Minutes turn into hours as my keys keep rocking, finally M comes home and looks at me, looks at the keys and asks how long? I just stared at her as she stops the keys as if it was as common as op not delivering on a locked safe. The two worst ones happen close together, again I'm in the bathroom, on my knees as I scrub the tub. I feel as though someone is next to me, breathing on me. As I jerk away a hand grabs my leg and yanks me towards the bathroom door, and then nothing. That night I'm out with a group of friends, I'm telling them these same stories and at the end the light above us flickers and shuts off. As we all look up to the light my chair gets picked up and thrown into the table. I turn around to scold the jackass behind me but nobody was there. Everyone just stared at me with shocked looks on their faces because they just witnessed the man. The finale. It's late and M is downstairs in bed. I'm turning off the lights as I hear our laundry room door close and footsteps leading to the bedroom. My brain is thinking M is awake so I go to the bedroom, I open the door to the sound of her softly snoring, I turn around and am hit with the loveliest smell I have ever experienced. It's the smell of my late Nana's home, her perfume is everywhere. After that moment the man was gone. It's like she came into the home and removed his presence, I can't explain it, all I know is that I haven't smelled that scent in well over 20 years and I doubt I'll ever smell it again. Back when I was 9 or so, me and my friend were having a sleepover. His parents were at a dinner, and his brother was out getting stoned somewhere. Anyways, it was probably 9pm, his parents had just called and said that dinner had turned into drinks, and they would be out for a little while longer. Anyways, we were young, playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360. When we heard his front door open. It had a very noticeable noise when it opened, very creaky, almost eerie so, we thought oh it's probably just your brother. And kept playing, thinking nothing of it. Then, we heard footsteps, on the floor above us. We once again thought nothing of it, seeing as his kitchen was above the basement where we were playing games, and his brother was likely there for mid-high munchies. But then. We heard another set of footsteps. We were confused at this point, but we didn't worry as it was either his parents or a stoner friend of his brother. We then heard a scratching at the basement door. We both looked at each other like is that just me or is there a scratching, he didn't have any pets, so, me being the oldest by two months, went to go check. I opened the door and there was nothing there. I yelled upstairs to his brother, let's call him Jim. Jim, you're not scaring us. Stop it. No reply. So I sat back down and continued playing. Now. There was a scratching on the window. We were honestly terrified, and we stayed seated, one of us looking at the door, the other looking at the window. Then, again, scratching at the door. I opened it with a baseball bat in hand, and nothing. We barricaded the door, and put things in front of the window. We didn't hear anything for the next half an hour, and eventually fell asleep. The next morning his dad came down and knocked on the door, and tried to get into the basement, we took down the barricade, and his dad came into the room furious. Why the hell did you guys rip open the screen door? We went upstairs and sure enough, the front door screen was shredded. We tried to convince him that it wasn't us, and that the brother had done it to scare us. But what he said next made our blood run cold. Jim wasn't home at all last night. We dropped him off in the city with his friends. My friend's house was half an hour away from the city, and none of the people at his friend's house have cars, me and my friend looked at each other, and couldn't speak. Needless to say, his parents didn't believe us, they called my parents, 
and me and my friend had to split the cost to have the basement door replaced, it had tons of scratch marks as well, and the screen door replaced. Me and my friends still bring this up to this day, whenever we meet friends still- Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.